Dear General, Army General Raul Castro Ruz, esteemed heads of the states, heads of delegations and guests, comrades, Nicholas, thank you for your true words, for your solidarity with Cuba, with Alba, and with the world. 70 years ago, the historical leaders of the revolutionary process of Cuba and, Vol and Venezuela, Hugo Chavez Frias and Fidel Castro Ruz, founded the uh, Bolivarian Alternative for the Americas, which meant turn into the Bolivia Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of our America, a true strength of solidarity, of compact unity that honors with its example to our peoples of America. Through all these years of hardships and with the disappearance of their architects, this alliance kept as a principle the spirit of brotherhood and defense of the national sovereignty. And the almost two years facing the terrible pandemic of COVID-19, the relation between the state members was felt, especially in the solidarity actions. Sharing the leader of what each of them had, the alliance proved that supporting ourselves, it was not necessary, but also possible. While our peoples felt the impact of the paralyzation by the pandemic, the United States and other transnationals would not see since the plundering of our economies of the America, of America, Latin America. So our peoples still feel this impact, but the accounts of the most powerful don't. So those with this those most powerful are taking advantage of this that is affecting the whole world. So their moral is not on the level of the in human intelligence that has been able to create vaccines. Some wealthy nations, some wealthy nations, uh, people decide not to vaccinate. There's con countries and countries and even continents that lack of this possibility. We're witnessing a wide open for he hegemony by the United States, in which the United States wants to uh, substitute the uh, work of our international organizations. So they're making lists and lists on countries that are not supposed to be fulfilled with democracy and human rights. They, they made a summit for democracy organized by the United States in which they invited most uh, governments that have decided to attack governments. We're not interested in fulfilling the requirements requested by the United States in terms of democracy. So they're attacking countries that decide to choose a different path than them. So in this so-called democracy summit, in a phone exchange with President, President Biden, Putin said that Joe Biden warned this president that one nation cannot tell the other to change its politics, as some nations cannot tell the others who they should be working with. So the current tenant of the White House advises what he does not do. His country con has been years imposing sanctions to thousands of people and countries. Cubans who suffer this policy of these uh, sanctions wonder what is the moral of the United States and who gave them the authority to decide Can this government be considered democratic if they are ruled by ultra far-right members? 
How can, exp how, how can the United States explain this summit? The control of the media to chase, incarcerate, and weaken progressive figures. We condemned the United States in this summit for their massacres and the and the retaliation and chase of indigenous people, Satans, and many atrocities to whom they uh, ignored through instruments like the OAS. In that summit, they talk about the plans of the United States to reverse social projects, uh, advance by left governments that actually won the elections. How can they explain the coup d'etat in Bolivia, in which they organized openly? So when the coup d'etat, the former president Donald Trump, say bravo, Bolivia. Supposedly, Joe Biden, which is different to his predecessor, has incited 